everyone, welcome to Sparkling Memories, a place we could build a healthy relationship with food, parenting, and self. And in front of you is what we have is codfish, and of course, the ingredients. Starting from the left to the right, we have garlic powder, onion powder, of course, great value brand. Then we have our McCormick seasoning, from the chipotle roasted garlic to the roasted garlic herb. And we're going to do a classic fish fry style which means we're going to be using the Ziploc bag. And of course, a mixture that actually says fish fry, the oil and style. And of course, we had to literally cut the fish because it was kind of thick in size. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we have one that's already cooked. And then we have the uncooked one here with the batter. The same batter was showing you before. Which will be this New Orleans style fish fry seasoned breaded mix. So, what we want to do now that we already have the coating already seasoned, now we want to put it into the hot pan. Notice it's got a whole lot of oil, it's just a little bit oil to coat the top and then drown it in the oil. The best thing you can do for this is make sure the oil is hot by a certain amount of degrees. One way to do that is put in a little piece and test it in to make sure it's hot enough to actually have all these bubbles and it floats a little bit more up to the top. You don't wanna have it in a very high heat either when you're doing this because if you have it in a very high heat, it doesn't cook all the way and then it would be undercooked and very dark on the outside. And that's not what you want. You want it a golden brown color. And try not to overcrowd the pan because that also needs room to flip and for it to breathe. If you put it more into the pan, there's not a lot of room for it to cook properly. And of course, when you cut it, it might not be the same. Like for other fish, they might shrink. This one stays in a particular state. Like this right here. This is actually one that has the coating. And you see the fish in here? Nice and white and completely cooked. All the seasoning you have on the outside, it stays there. And the breading is just to make sure it doesn't dry out. But it is very good, surprisingly. Now, as far as the other stuff, we use some vegetable oil you see here. And later on, we might actually try this. This is the one with the season. But we can do it on fish that you already seasoned because then that would be double seasoning. And that's not what you want to look for. Give it some time, let it cook on one side, and then you flip it and do the same thing. As far as the minutes to cook it, I'm going to say about three minutes, maybe four and a half, max on each side. You always want to have your napkin already set to so drain out that excess oil. You don't want to actually do it one time, do it both, because it has one here and then one above it. Soak up the oil. And you also want to use a spatula, because if you use a fork and you dig down in it, all that oil is going to be seeping into your fish, because you don't want to have the fork and dig down. With a spatula, you keep it whole. That way, you want to dig down and have the oil make it soggy and fill with oil that's one thing i've noticed a lot of people tend to use for instead of a spatula spatula holds it together so let's see what this one is looking like because the first one might have been a little bit to point is dark enough i'm bringing it a little closer see how golden brown the color is that's what you're looking for and the others might then a little later on than the first one, so we want to give it a little longer to cook. Okay, so we have a few of them that's done right now. And what you want to do is take a lemon and squeeze some on there because it actually bounces off the taste of the McCormick season and the onion and garlic powder that you placed on there earlier. So we still just finished up. A few we still have here cooking. Okay, everyone, so this is the finished product. Of course, the cottage fish. And we actually use the fish fry. And of course, the McCormick and a great value seasoning. 
See you next time. This is Mr. Tamara for Sparkling Memories. Bye-bye.